All right, all right, it's time for us to go and grab. Oh, hey, look at that. I already planned ahead. I was. I had to actually look back at the last video because it's been a day. So I completely forgot where I was. And look at that. I already humaned myself. I know what the fuck I'm doing. Bitches. Kind of. Don't hold me to that. Nice. <laughs> you deserve to live now. After what that, after that, that shit, whatever. Oh god. <laughs> I do not want to get cursed. I actually found out uh, through rage quitting, basically. Because <sighs> the problem is now, like, if you get cursed now, there's really, you have no good way. Oh, I'm going to get invaded by Kirk. You really have no good way to get rid of it at this point. Like, the only... Oh, wait, actually, you know what? Never mind. I just remembered that you can buy purging stones from that merchant that's in, the like, the sewer tunnel that leads back to Firelink Altar. Um, but beforehand, my, my impression was that the only way you could go back and get rid of Curse was to go all the way to that dude. I don't know his name, but the guy that hangs out... Where's Kirk? There he is! Hi, Kirk. Oh. I guess that would be a little unfair to be capable of doing that from, like, the get-go. Can you even make him bleed? You can make me bleed, that's for damn sure. I just want to hit away from dead. All you gotta do is drop that shield, baby. Uh, but yeah, I thought that you would have to go all the way back to that guy that like absolves you of sin or whatever that's in the Bell Gargoyle Tower. But I just remembered you can buy purging stones. So never mind from the merchant that's in the sewer. So never mind. Forget, forget me. Just forget I ever talked. I'm sure it won't be hard. Am I going the- yes, I am going the right- shit, I'm not going the right way. I'm kind of- oh, I forgot that shit. I'll unlock the shortcut first, just to be absolutely positive, just in case I end up dying. But yeah, so if you quit the game when you get cursed, uh, you still, like, you still die. But when you reload the game, you're not cursed anymore. You're just- you're just dead. Does fuckface ever drop anything? Stupid fuckface. I should have killed the others. I think like three of them down there. One time, one of them followed me up uh, this staircase, and it was not a good time because I couldn't get past it. But because it was on a lower plane than me, it was actually also very difficult to kill him. All right. So anyway, so I gotta go back and actually do a little bit of exploration. Is that dude? Oh my god, that that dude looked alive. That dude is doing that like cat wiggle meme shit. All it stopped. Well, that dude's going nuts too. Dead bodies don't. Dead bodies act weird. Right, I can kill one of these dudes through this, which is fantastic. Not the less curse I have to deal with, the better. I might have actually been able to reach him. Come to think of it, it may have been possible. I don't know why I did not do the running regular attack. Why I hit the strong attack. I guess it's just because I'm not an intelligent human being. How about that? How about that for a reason? Please don't take the camera off this dude. Oh my god, please stop. Please stop! Alright, I gotta fucking... I'm staying over here. I ain't going nowhere near that. He just filled the entire fucking hallway. Give me a punch! That is, like, the best. I cannot describe how amazing that attack... Oh, Jesus! But yeah, that attack's fantastic. I really dig it. Really? How? Did y'all bitches get your ass through the fucking staircase? It come down. Stop spitting shit over. Fine, you know what? Fine, fine, fine. You wanna play it that way? You wanna play it that fucking way? I'll kill everything. I just killed four dudes. Ah! I'm the best. Hi. I see you. Come see me. I ain't going through that tiny ass tunnel. You gonna curse me. I ain't stupid. Fine, I'll come behind you. Bitch. Oh, this dude don't even know I'm here. 
I don't know why, but though, like, they are completely oblivious to shit that comes up behind them. I have no idea why. But, <laughs> I mean, you can run up to them. Oh, that's right, I already have. Okay, so yeah, I don't care about this shit. I just wasn't sure if I had two rings already equipped. But yeah, they pay absolutely no attention to what's coming up behind them. They only react if you come up in front of them. I'm just glad I killed four right there. That was kind of awesome. Alright, now we got everything to offer here. Back on over. Oh, not that way. Shit, this way. <laughs> oh, man. You would think I would at least have a little bit of a better sense of direction, given that I've beaten this game now, like... Three times. This way. <laughs> God damn. I'm just, I'm so smart in general. Doesn't it impress you? It should impress you. Oh, hi there. God damn it. My spacing sucks. I think I might just leave those dudes alone, to be honest. Please stop running. Can you just let me kill you. The problem is they have the potential to drop green titanite shards, which now that I think about it, I'm not sure what I care about them for. Because green titanite shards are useful for, uh, magic and divine weapons. Which are based, which are scaled off of intelligence or, or faith. I have no intelligence. I just miss both of those? Like, real talk? Does my Superman punch hit this motherfucker? You know what I should be doing? Maybe not. It's actually... Since it's only... Dude, come on. Dude! Like, we all see the attack going through this thing's body. Come on, man. There. Let me guess. I didn't get a single green Titanite shard. Worth it. Worth the 200 goddamn souls. Alright, so this dude sells crystal shit. I don't think I actually care, though. Oops. Maybe I should buy some of that. I should definitely buy that. I can't believe I haven't bought that. Why didn't I buy that? I should have bought that from the regular Undead Merchant. I should have got... Oh, what am I thinking, dude? Oh my god! The Undead Merchant and the Undead Berg drops Uchi Gatana when you kill him. And I didn't even think about it. Like, I could have been using that this entire... Oh, no, I'm glad I used the Scythe. I don't want to use... I've already got... Like I said, I've used the Ayatso or however the hell you pronounce that shit. So I don't want to use another katana. It's better. It's better to use like a scythe or a halberd, something unique, something that I haven't used yet. It's better for a playthrough to be utilizing something that I've not yet utilized. All right. So I think actually the only item is on the second level down. Yep. What the fuck was that? It sounded like something was barking. And then hopefully, hopefully, okay, good, Solari's, I'm always concerned, because obviously Solari died during the Bell Gargoyle fight, so I'm always a little concerned that he's not going to show up, and hopefully he does continue to show, because I want to use him for every fight. I want to use all the phantoms for every fight, because it's just, you know, it's more fun, it's more fun to have, I should be trying to co-op every, no... That'd require moving my ethernet cable around, and I don't wanna. Plus, I don't know how realistic it is to expect co-op for every single boss at this point in time. Like, I would expect something like, uh, Ornstein and Smoth. Like, that would be something that would probably, um... Alright, so ready for vagina? Hope y'all ready for vagina. Ornstein and Smoth would be something that I would expect to be able to summon pretty easily for, because that's one of, like, the main difficult bosses um who else I think I bet Bell Gargoyles will get some decent amount of summons maybe Sif four kings probably can you summon to the bed of chaos that'd be interesting one dude goes left the other dude goes right 
so I gotta get this dude's tail. Come to think of it. Larry just got fucking bought. Uh oh. I thought that was a tail slam waiting to happen. Give me the tail. Oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck. I was going after Solari. Oh, there's a the tail slam. Ah! Dude, Solari's getting fucked up. Yes! Alright, cool. So now, hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Solari, I'm so sorry. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. There it is. Oh my god, he's getting so fucking destroyed. Yo, he's dead. There's no way this guy is living. Oh yeah, he's already dead. That sucks. What? Come on, man. Come on, man. Stop miss. This dude's gotta jump soon. I have no stamina. Bad. Yo, why are you targeting? I tried to stop. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, I have no stamina. Woohoo! I need to be careful about that shit. I don't actually know what that does. I've never seen it actually do anything. Oh god. You good? It's all good. Everything's gravy. See it's stomping down here. Damn. Pulled Pine Reservoir off. Did I use another one? Oops. really is dying really easy. Like it's hard to it's kind of hard to keep that dude alive. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, don't jump so much. I mean, I'm only one attack away. I got right here. Superman punch. Yeah, that makes me sad that Solari keeps getting cuz I don't get I'm not getting any of the uh I'm not getting any of the sunlight medals. I don't know why that would matter. Sunlight, me sunlight medals are only useful if you join the Way of the Sunlight Covenant. And I am not going to have the faith requirement to join the Way of the Sunlight Covenant. So I don't know what the fuck I'm thinking. I just want him to throw lightning bolts at people. I guess it is my own fault because, you know, like... Oops, where am I going? Uh, Obviously he's going to die when he's the main target. And... Um since I'm busy trying to cut off motherfuckers tails instead of actively doing stuff alright so now the fun let the fun times roll son of a bitch I'm not looking forward to this um since I'm trying to stay behind them and cut off tails obviously those dudes are gonna focus on the summon and so it makes it easier to actually the gaping dragon's really not difficult cause as like you just have to make him do that stomp attack And once you make him do that stomp attack, you basically just have free reign to do whatever the fuck you want. Alright. Stupid- Oh, fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you! Damn, I didn't make it! <laughs> That's fucking stupid. I'm so angry I got stuck on that fucking wheel and I got knocked off the ledge. Great start to Blight Town. Fucking perfect start. You motherfuckers. I can't believe that shit. Go to hell. <laughs> I'm so bad right now. God! The good thing is, though, is that I'm not gonna be lost as fucking Blighttown. Like, I have learned my way around Blighttown. I know where shit is, and I know how to get this stuff. So thankfully, this won't be like a three-hour experience of me just struggling to get through this godforsaken place but there's still gonna be some stupid like that uh toxic is going to be a very real problem 
Cause like they, the game's very, very lenient on how many uh, blooming purple moss clumps or how whatever the. F oh shit! A great start. Is, are the other ones coming at me yet? Oh, fuck, they are. Oh wow, I actually killed him. That's cool. So I actually did some very real damage there. Yeah, I got range too, bitch. How you like me now? Is that attack properly heavy for you? Ha! Ha ha ha! Ha ha ha! Ha ha! For those of you that aren't aware, the band that sings How You Like Me Now is called The Heavy. Because jokes are great if you have to explain them, right? That's how that shit works. Fuck you. Fuck you. But no, seriously, fuck you. Piece of shit. Fucking fat tub of lard. Goddamn, didn't even fucking die. 